YouTube was good, man. I know you wondered who this is. We're going to get to that here in just a minute. But it's your boy, Long Way Fargo. Y'all, y'all know what to do. If you're new to the channel, like, comment, and subscribe. Get down in the comments. Let me know what's going on. Fargo family, I appreciate y'all messing with me, man. Y'all just so dear to my heart. You feel me? Now let's get to who this is. I can give you a hint. My name starts with a T, and his name starts with a T. <laughs> his name is with a G, and my name is with a G. Are y'all done yet? No, 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 nothing? All right, man, man. This is my homeboy over at RST. Let him know who you are. What's up, guys? My name's Tim. Um, yeah. <laughs> Tim, what kind of truck you got? Um, 2016 International Lone Star. I'm pretty sure this is probably the only Lone Star left on the fleet. Yeah. Um, long nose. Don't have a lot of space for two guys in this thing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we working it out. That's right. That's yeah. right. So how long you been over at RST? Uh, the first time or the second time? Uh, let's go back to the first time. Let's go back to the first All time. All right. So the first time I was over here, uh, Halloween 2018? Yeah. Uh, nine, uh, yeah. Nine, 19, I guess. 19. Um, no, nah, it had to be 18. It had to be 18. Yeah. Um, I was working over at, oh, Navajo. For like a month, Navajo, and I hated it. And then uh, you doing a reefer over that tanker? Uh, no, I was doing reefer. Reefer, okay. Yeah, I didn't like the whole setup and everything else. Yeah, I uh, was talking to Woody because I found out Woody had his own his own gig underneath RST's authority. Mm -hmm. so did that for a bit. Had yeah. some stuff I had to take care of at the house. Right. And so I had to leave and take care of that home stuff, like like we were talking about yeah, earlier. Yeah, earlier, yeah, yeah. Um, and then winter hit. Stupid ass didn't you know? I didn't yeah. have no no money in the bank for winter. Right, right. And then I'm kind of missing the RST, you know, RST family. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna get to that here in a minute. That's I know y'all right. wondering about that. And um, so I was teaming with my boy Gary. Mm -hmm. Um, he, over here at RST, he has a uh, 579 Ultra Loft. He's buying that mug. Yeah. Um, him and I were talking one day, and then um, I wanted to do my own lease thing because I want to buy a truck. Mm -hmm. Chris and I were talking and. The owner of RST, one of the owners, and he was like, "Dude, do it, you know." Might as well, yeah. If you're gonna pay for a truck lease, you might as well just yeah. buy it at the end. Buy it at the end, yeah. So, might as well. he said, "I just have to show him one, one successful lease, and here we are in this little world, I guess you could say." Nice, nice. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. If people don't work over here at RST, you know, I've only been over here, not even a week yet. Y'all ain't seen that video? Go like, comment, subscribe. But. uh good and bad about rst off the top of your head if somebody wanted to come over here and work uh talk to chris uh his wife and the people in the office what type of feeling are they gonna get when they come over at rst family family that sounds like that one word family that's one that's yeah. one, that's like the main thing that's like the main reason why i came back right so how's your home time you go home when you want to how's that basically whenever you as long as the truck payment's covered yeah nobody's gonna whine or complain about you no boss them. calling on the phone nobody hey go do this and do that mm -hmm. stuff non-illegal and stuff no see okay nope. so let's get to the money you don't have to say anything about your paychecks and how much you make but uh run us down about how rst pays when they pay how much they pay and what the potential earnings could be uh company or lease or both uh let's go both let's go both because you know we don't know if they want to come and do what we're doing they may right. want to come over and just have a good family atmosphere of a job so let's right. go company and then we'll see all right so company drivers they get paid every two weeks twenty four hundred dollars gross all right gross gross now that that's set no mileage paid nothing it's that's, just twenty hundred flat twenty four hundred dollars twenty four hundred dollars is it is there every is there um experience with that or does that come you, or you have to be to even apply to rst right I'm like they'll take your application with like six months okay. but it's they're not going to do nothing yeah you got to have two years of experience or more two years or experience or more rst gonna pay you twenty four hundred dollars guaranteed 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 company, company money company money now is this company benefits or is this outside of the right now we don't have no benefits just because of the fact that we're still yeah like a mom and pop company still coming up yeah, yeah. okay yep. so twenty four hundred dollars every week every two every two weeks every two weeks, every two weeks two years experience two years experience i don't know as long as we have the company spots open but right now yeah we don't but we are hiring for owner ops that okay they have their own trucks right so let's talk about that 
Okay. About the owner ops. If you have your own truck or you want, let's start with the owner ops that come over and want to come to RST that have their own trucks, and then let's go to leasing a truck like okay. you're about to do with yours. All right, that's fine. So, if you have your own truck, what you really want to do is you want to reach out to the owner, Chris. Okay. Chris will set you up on what we need to do and everything else. And if Chris is not available, we got another guy. Y'all know him, little guy. Go check him out. Yes, sir. He uh, is basically the official recruiter for RST, to my knowledge. Yeah. If I'm not, let me know. It's fine. Yeah. But uh, hit him up. He'll tell you what you need to do and everything else. If you have your own truck, the own truck that I am aware of, it has to be 2016 or newer. Or newer. Cannot be a 2015. Do or not or apply if it's a 2010 or 2012. Don't That's apply. Right. Right. <laughs> don't there's, apply. There's some, uh, I'm wanting rule, I guess, or something. I don't yeah. know. Probably insurance based. I, I guess something like I, that. Yeah. I don't know, but this this could be emissions or something. I, possibly. Yeah. I don't know that whole California bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Damn right. Um, and then you can lease a truck through RST. All uh -huh. right. Um, their leases are for four years or for I think four years. That's it. Yeah. Um, this truck here, it's almost at the end of its lease, and I'm gonna kind of be sad when it leaves, but be happy because I'm getting a brand spanking new mm -hmm. Freightliner, all black exclusive for RST I guess yeah um, but you know if we have a truck open you want to lease a truck lease a truck mm -hmm. um, but if you want to do it if you want to come to RST and there's Chris wants to open up a company position that's up to him it's up right. to the company you know we don't, we really don't have a lot of company spots open or if hardly any right it's most of us are lease or owner ops. so the, the majority of the companies lease and owner ops. yeah but if there's a truck available Chris we could put somebody with the two years in there into the company position right okay right. okay because so, i know some drivers want to fill a company out before they lease with a truck yeah definitely but definitely. but here's a kicker though you come over to rst with mm -hmm. no experience with two years experience right. no lease experience though you can still do it the reason why i say you can still do it is we got guaranteed freight guaranteed freight that was the next thing he's on it he's on it so <laughs> how do we how do we have guaranteed freight all right so kick it right right now where we're at we're in Pittston, pa okay all right if y'all truckers out there know who's in Pittston, yeah prime right we're at the prime yard right matter of fact we're on prime's a fleet <laughs> right all right so guaranteed freight at a guaranteed contract rate mm -hmm. so unfortunately those owner ops off of the break uh breaker <laughs> burgers board yeah you know, yeah. brokers are taking what, 25, 35 percent? Sometimes, you know, the whole load could exactly. be. Exactly. They yeah. want you to go from what, Texas to California for like 50 cents. 50 cents a mile. You know? <laughs> hey, 50 cents on the rate. Yeah, yeah. You can't do that. Can't do that. But and, see, yeah. over here at RST, we got contracted rate. So therefore, we killing it. Killing it. You heard him. You see him in the glasses, right? When, when somebody does that, I mean, you're either in trouble or you're doing something right. It like ain't no mom. trouble. Ain't no trouble here. That's right. So he's doing something right. That's right. He's doing something right. You know. So obviously something right. If I keep coming, you know. If I yeah, come back, yeah, you know? yeah. You left the first time and came back here. So you know, I think what most people are looking for is that family atmosphere. Come that's, over here, and not just be that a number. number. Yeah. Oh my number. God, that no a number. Oh. A oh, number. Thank I you mean, for calling XYZ Trucking. Yeah, what oh, is your number? Yeah, who's you? Yeah. Oh no, no. I need your truck. No, yeah. not here. And when I'm picturing when you call here, it's like, hey, first name. Yeah. First name basis. Our, our dispatcher on the reefer side, dude, he's great. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he's a big family guy. I mean, just like everybody else. Excuse me. Uh, he does work for Prime, but I'll tell you this right now. He'll push you. He'll make sure you yeah. make a paycheck. He makes sure that you do anything and whatever you need. Yeah. You just call him up. We got road assist. We got, you know, Chris, if something's wrong with the truck, mm -hmm. you're never out there by yourself. Yeah. And I want to add one thing to that. Uh, me not being here that long at RST, I think the first thing that I like about it is what, what you what you said, T, is uh, the family thing. Oh, dude. And now the second thing is, you know, I seen who was in the office and what they were doing and how hard they were working. They weren't working fast, but they were working hard. Yeah. The second thing is, is that guaranteed break. And I think the thing that trumps this right here that really you can't get from a big mega carrier, uh, not down in any mega carriers out there, you know, uh, to each its own on the job, you know, but you cannot or I haven't been out here eight years He's been out here four years go work for somebody and shake the owner's hand and then the owner in the midst of COVID-19 
get out here and go trucking with you. Yeah, yeah. Team with you, run the truck with you. The owner, Chris, dude. You know, you know he. Talk a little about Chris right quick. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, man, I could be here all day. He, Chris, we're talking about you. I know you're going to watch this video because <laughs> I'm going to tag you in here. That's right. Um, <laughs> we could talk about Chris all day. He is a boss. Right. He is an owner. But when it comes down to it, he's there when you need him. Yeah. You know, the other owner Christian's the same way. Uh-huh. They'll give you your shirt off your back even when you're sick. Yeah. And you close the office down for four days. Right. Because you you got the flu. Yeah. You know, they're still there. They're still there. They're they're not Monday through Friday. They're right. not Monday to Monday. They're there on that phone if you need them 365 days a year, 24 7. Yeah. You got a problem with your pay? Get it fixed. Get it fixed. There's no running around, no nothing. Granted, mm -hmm. you know, we are a mom and pop company. Right. With 50, like 52 trucks or whatever it yeah. is right now. But you got to think, 52 trucks. Right. 52 employees, minimal. Minimal. If they're not, if, if you know, there's like four or five trucks that are a team. Well, team has what? Right. Two, you know, two drivers. Exactly. So you're going to have more than 52 drivers that they got to take care of right. every, every day. At any given time. So yeah. you got to. Sometimes you just gotta bug them a little bit, but mm -hmm. they don't get mad. They understand. Yeah. yeah, you know, if you got a problem, like, gosh forbid, if you have something wrong at the house, right? You know, uh, your mom is in the hospital. Your ch child. I have two kids. Mm -hmm. Straight up, I got two kids. If something happened to them, all I gotta do is call Chris. Yo, dude, look, I'm over here in Springfield. Can you help me out? I need a plane ticket to Philly, like ASAP. Got you. Gone. Gone. Just like no that. questions asked. Just no like questions that. asked. It's true family atmosphere and he's not afraid to say it yeah and he's not afraid to show it either yeah. as, as you saw when yeah. you came in when i came in yeah i mean it was like you know um it was orientation but it was like going to a family member's house like a family picnic yeah a picnic we went out to eat That's you know right. talk and it was trucking but and it was a different way of trucking family truck yeah it was a different way of trucking you know introducing you and, and chris is very calm spoken but you know when he says something he has that little tone with him you know it's like look hey now it's time to go do this right here and do that right there but without demanding hey come over here you know things of that nature you Fair, know you know all you gotta look at is this way you know not knocking any big, big yeah, mag, yeah mega carriers right right but you know because here at our at Prime Rob Lowe goes to the basketball court at Springfield every day. Yeah, Chris told me about that. He plays with them, uh, plays with the drivers or something. Yeah, yeah. So dispatchers, basketball. drivers, everybody. Right. It's like from noon to two. Right. You know, but Rob will tell you, my name's not Mr. Lowe. It's not Mr. Robert. It's Rob. It's Rob. Yeah. And you know, Chris is the same way. Right. Yeah. You know, what it's, is it? yeah. <laughs> right. it's not Mr. Robinson. It's not Mr. Chris. It's Chris. It's Chris. Yeah. And Christian does the same way. And Stacy's the same way. Right. Yeah. You know, I feel that Stacy's the mom of the whole entire company. Yeah. Me too. You know, the glue. So, the glue. Yeah. Yeah. The glue. If right. something's wrong, like I got to pay child support. I got two kids. All right. right. Whatever. Hey, Stacy, I got this going on. All right. Not a problem step by step hey this is what's going on right. she's taking you by the hand telling you hey delaware anybody besides me that has to pay child support for delaware bro it is crazy <laughs> they said they sent the check like say may 1st right all right they didn't process the check until like two weeks from now oh so then goodness. i got hit with back child support and everything else oh, even though stacy was sending the checks sending the checks there yeah wow yep. wow stacey, but she helped you through it stacy went out of her way and yep. got everything figured out and Chris does the same thing. Something wrong with the truck. For example, this truck needed a tire. Yeah. You know, Chris was like, hey, go here. Mm -hmm. They didn't have a tire. Right. Well, go, go, you know, hey, Chris, is what's going on? That's fine, dude. Look, take the day off. You know. Yeah. Uh, Prime will go to their, their warehouse down the street. Go get the other tire. Get the tire. You'd be good to go tomorrow. All right, whatever. Hey. You know, Chris understands that sometimes trucking's trucking. That trucking, means the truck's going to be in the shop. You're going to have some downtime. And that's fine. Mm -hmm. You know, we were just talking about downtime earlier. Earlier, yeah. yeah. You know, or home time. Right. I right. just got off of home time right. and met up with Fargo. Yeah. So, but, you know, I was told to cut the video. Before. Yeah, cutting the video. Right. Who, who knew? Yeah, know? nobody knew. Yeah. Yeah, I seen you on my Facebook page and I was like, I'm in the yeah. same position. He lit. Yeah, I'm here. Where are you at? Walk right up on me, man. Yeah. <laughs> I got right at the truck. I said, yep. You know, he went eight and. That's right. We're doing I'm, this right here. This, you know, I don't know about you, but. At least at RST, everybody's yeah. everybody's yeah. family or friendly or yeah. I think it was it's a it was a different demeanor, you know. Like I said, I've been out here eight years, you know, and uh, most of my time has been uh, some mom and pop, then mega carrier. But you know, I've never been with a uh, company uh, as small as RST. But you can you sure feel it. A mom and pop sure feel it. company with a mega carrier feeling. Hey, and mega carrier money. 
That's right. Yeah, it's 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 uh it's good over here now. What we were discussing a while ago, we're not gonna get into the YouTube because that's none of y'all business. But we're just gonna <laughs> elaborate on it. You know, uh, about these paychecks that he just showed me. Uh, he's eating. He's eating over here. He's eating over here. You know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. So, so since you're saying that, right. um, for example, what he's talking about is, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm, you know, I got two kids. I got right. a girlfriend. Yeah, she has two kids. But I went home and I started my YouTube channel. What? Two, three days ago, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Uh, Y'all know GoPros are what? 300 bucks yeah, a piece bucks. plus oh, the pop. battery pack and everything else. And the accessories that come with them. Bro, I blew that money like I was. Yeah. He knew it was coming back. Oof. Could get it? It was gonna go right back in the bank. Before that, dude, I I bought a 55 inch curved TV, right? The Samsung TV. TV, right? And guess what? My kids get to use it more than I did. You, yeah. Hey, that's it. That's it. So, man. but you know, I, I'm not hurting for money. Right. Fargo came from another company. Right. He's just starting out. Yeah. They do hold a week back. They technically they don't hold it back. It's the way that we do payroll over yeah, here at RSP. Yeah. Yeah. All right. There's no holding back, nothing like that. It's mm -hmm. just a week behind. Behind. So yeah. I don't keep track of what I do every week. I yeah, granted, yeah, I've been here four years, but I haven't mm -hmm. had any really mess up paychecks. And if I had did, Stacy caught it before I even seen it. Before you even seen it, yeah, yeah. So and so it's just like it wasn't really ever a mistake. It was just like oh, fix this and then oh hey look yeah. uh, for example, we charge you for the bed. The bed. It's not, it wasn't supposed to be for the belt. Oh, what was it for? Oh, it was for the GPS that you got when you're in the company truck. Right. Oh, all right. So we took too much money out. Here's $5. That's it. Hey. You know, and stuff like that. Can't beat it. No, no. Can't beat it. And uh, if people don't know, or I don't know if uh, any other YouTube truckers that have been over here at RST have even put this on YouTube, but you're about to put it on YouTube, and we also gonna do it on your channel. The same thing we're about to do advancement and growth with rst you yeah. just said you're about to get a new truck right i'm about to get a, my very first so truck. tell them about tell them about the new truck and, and the specs that you uh not it's not coming from anywhere else it's coming from where it's coming from the factory it's coming from the factory chris chris got uh this uh i don't know deal whatever yeah um uh, but he specced out uh what eight eight trucks i think he said or something yeah and i'm buying one of them Right off the get go, yeah, um, six thousand dollars down or whatever it is, mm -hmm. and then you know, four years, it's gonna be my truck, yeah. And then after that, I'm putting a driver that I'm teaming with start November that I'm looking for somebody. Once I get that truck in four years, mm -hmm. they're gonna be driving that truck. I'm ordering another one. Okay. You know, you can grow as long as as much as you want to, right. as long as Chris was like, you know. It's okay. It's okay. You never yeah. want to ever step your boundary in a mom and pop company. Right. Because, right. you know, they want to keep that, that what I call family oriented. Exactly. But the advancement of growth here at RST could be to the moon and back, as, depending if everything is lines up and Chris says okay with it. As big as your britches can go. See? So you don't have to go out here and put ten, fifteen thousand dollars down here. Go out here and go get your own insurance. Go get your own new adventure authority. Go buy your base plates and all this other stuff. You don't have to do that. RST has it right here for you if you qualify. Uh, give us some of the qualifications as a lease driver here at RST. You've been here longer than me. Shoot, I mean, I'm qualifications <laughs> in general. In general, uh, it's easy. Yeah. Uh, like. Two years of uh, two years OTR experience. Minimal. Okay. Minimal. Minimal. Yeah. Two uh, years OTR. So you got that, and then turn around your driving history. You got to have a good driving yeah. history. Got to. You know, everybody's not perfect. Right. Things I'm happen. not perfect. Yeah. I got a speeding ticket the other day. Yeah. Things happen. You know, yeah. doing something stupid, and um, you can't have two no more than you know two speeding tickets in like a year. Right. Um. But you don't even want any speeding tickets at all because it makes your personal insurance goes up yeah, and it yeah. makes the carrier's insurance goes up. Go up. And on top of that, since you have that little fancy little CDL thing, yeah, you know, yeah. caught him CDL was right. <laughs> um, right. It makes your F FCSA score go up. Yeah. And which isn't good either, or negative, or positive, or however that scoring yeah. system goes. Right. Um, but you want to keep a, a clean record. Clean record. So, you know, if you want to come here at Prime, um, RST, not Prime, mm -hmm. 
prime truck in front of us. Yeah, know. right. Sitting right at two All of them. Over, it's like <laughs> prime, hey, hey, prime right? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so the qualifications are very simple. You know, don't be stupid. Don't get two speeding tickets in a year. If you have one, that's fine. If it's about to fall off, even greater. Right. Uh, but the main thing is two years over the road experience. Okay. That's the big thing. Um, it's just because of insurance reasons, which suck. All right. Because, you know, there's there's a lot of young guys coming into the trucking industry that's yeah. like, hey, I want to get my CDLs, but then I want to go to a small mom and pop company with a big mech carrier big feeling. Me right, you right. You can't do that. Yeah. You can't. You can't do that. So. But, um, the you know, it's just, uh, man, I think that's. It's about nothing in a nutshell, huh? I, I can't, yeah. I, I'm RST. trying to think now. Okay. But that's well, like the requirements I can think of. Okay. Well, y'all heard it, man. Right here from both the T's and the G's. <laughs> Chris, we need some money for this. This is advertising <laughs> for RST. It's recruiting. Well, it's recruiting yeah. for RST. <laughs> Call us the little guys. <laughs> I don't know about little. I like to eat way too much. Well, hey, y'all. We're getting on 20 minutes right here, man. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Get that in the comments. Uh, I'll put a link below the website and everything if y'all want to apply uh, i'm not saying anything is available you know it doesn't hurt to apply you know give a shout out send your credentials over whatever they may ask if you do feel like coming over to rst you know um everything i've heard from rst that's why i'm here me and the wife are rst driving team you know so like i say like comment and subscribe man don't forget to mike tyson the bill yes sir y'all have a good one